As the influence of religion diminishes with, the, um, with some of the European youth, how do you think that the story of Easter and the importance of resurrection will be able to retain its significance in the upcoming years? He's saying that modern youth are finding it difficult to understand the old messages. What do you say to them? It is a difficult message. I think the Christian is not easy. And it is a provocation. And I try to show uh, what is the meaning? That is not an event which was done in the past. There is something continuing that we are also invited to the newness of life. Uh, and this, this resurrection is something that like is a river subterranean that is finding its way and is visible in that uh, moment of our life uh, when uh, something happened in our hearts, in our minds. I think the conversion of Augustine and Paul and also my own conversion it was the part of that event. And um, I found uh, very inspiring this idea of uh, Augustine, I, uh, what I mentioned uh, at the end of my, of my lecture, that uh, praying is just close the eyes and, and realize God is creating the world now. And I think that also uh, to uh, to, to realize that this story of Easter is something what is continuing, they are part of it. Um, I think it's inspiring. It's, 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 uh, um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, people say that uh, our Czech Republic, my, my country, is the more atheistic country in the world. I don't think it's, uh, it's exactly uh, it's the truth. I think that uh, now the a great line, the border, is not between the so-called believers and unbelievers, but between those who are dwellers and between those who are seekers. I think uh, that just uh, the number of the dwellers is, uh, is uh, uh, going down, and the number of the seekers is increasing. The dwellers in the uh, traditional religion, the dwellers in the old atheism, but uh, it's 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 uh, uh, but the seekers they are also the believers. And they uh, they uh, they live their faith as a as a way to to to, to death, uh, and they are also seekers. And although many non-believers are also the people, they are not uh, they are uh, not uh, dumb in, in a spiritual uh, dimension for life. They are also seekers. So I think uh, our task uh, to uh, to to um, to answer the call to uh, to communicate with the young people in Europe. Is just to to to, um, to confront the seekers, to discuss with the seekers. Uh, it is the idea of my uh, of, of this my book uh, about Zacchaeus' story. The patient is God. I was once uh, in the Czech Parliament. I was invited to present a meditation for the deputies and senators before Christ uh, before Christmas. How many people they have never the Bible with their hand? And I decided to talk the story of Zacchaeus. And I say it is the parable of this symbol of the situation of the church in our country when we were first time allowed to enter the public space. We, uh, we mentioned many people that were uploading. We mentioned some people who were against us, but we didn't mention that the trees along the street were full of sarcosis of the people. They were, they had an interest, but they want also to have some distance, some overlook. And Jesus was able to 
call the Zacchaeus by his name. And I think we didn't. Uh, it, it didn't happen in our, in our country. So I think it's perhaps my personal uh, vocation and mission, not just uh, to work with, with the dwellers in the churches, not just to fight against the enemies, but to speak with those Zacchaeuses, with those people, they are on distance, but they have not closed heart and closed mind. And we must find a creative way how to communicate with those Zacchaeuses. So I think uh, to communicate with young people today, we must see the seekers and communicate with them, not from above, like the people they have already, they are the owners of all tools, but as a seekers, waiting seekers. Um, so, that's my thing. So, how, how, do you how do you start communicating with a seeker? Uh, I think we must, uh, at first, listen, listen, listen. Listen to their question, to the real question. So sometimes, uh, the pastor is saying, now we put ourselves a question, and he put himself a question which nobody asks. <laughs> <laughs> and the question, he has already his answer. But I think we must do listen to the real question of the people, and to take it seriously and then to, uh, to accompany the people in the seeker, like the seekers. Also, we must say, uh, the uh, please give us not all answers. Uh, it, is the, it is the courage to enter the cloud of mystery. So we must live, uh, we must learn to live with the mystery uh, and go deeper and deeper. Mystery is uh, uh, something what is bottomless, which is invite us to discover the meaning again and again, deeper and deeper. It is the reason why we celebrate the Easter every year. So we know the story. Uh, we know, uh, uh, but uh, there is a hermeneutical circle between our life and the story of Piper. So the story of Piper gives us some insight, light, to interpret our own life. But also our life experiences give us the key to open the sense of, 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 of the scripture. Um, we read the same text, quite different in the use of in old age. Uh, after the heavy uh, Sunday meal or in prison. <laughs> the same text is speaking to us differently in different contexts. So it's important to read it, uh, the, 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 the biblical text again and again and to confront it with the experiences of our life. It, it, it was said about Mary that she, uh, she, she, she took this mystery in her heart. And I think we must uh, to take it in our heart, in our inner uh, dimension, and to let it grow and grow. I always thank my, my converts, uh, this year I'm preparing 105 catechumens for the baptism. And uh, we have two years of, of, of catechumena for the preparation for the young people, educated people, open-minded people. And I tell them always, uh, there are some things that will be scandal for you, or something uh, which, is, uh, which you can't understand, uh, which is hard to accept. So uh, you can say stupidity, or you can say, I must have a patience. Sometime it will open to me, perhaps. And perhaps there is something that is for the other people, because the Christianity is for all people, for the simple people, for the educated people, for the people from many cultures. So there must be uh, the plurality. There must be many, many answers, many, many ways. Not all are for us, but it 
can be, which is not, not accessible for me, it could be very important for the other people. So, uh, 